Happy Monday, everybody! Welcome back to German Auto House. And today we start work on this project. What we're gonna do on this car? Uh, probably a few blocks ago, you can see what happens with this engine. Engine something will fly inside and destroy it internals from cylinder number five. Uh, just we want to add the picture you can see Okay, here is uh, how it looks. This is cylinder number five uh, We have a two trouble code uh, Misfire number five misfire number four and this is how it looks uh, dish of cylinder number five piston and then we switch to side camera and you can see it's a big mess everywhere This is how it looks uh, side wall Right there. Yeah. That scratch. That scratch. This is big scratches yeah. and some some something moving and hitting inside. We don't know. We really don't know because everything is closed. This maybe some bolt. Yeah, but that one. Yeah, it looks like engine. It's total. I mean, it is. It is. Yeah. What? How is the looks internals? and we want to do engine swap engine it's already here it's a complete engine uh from first gen of audi r8 v10 5.2 last week this beautiful one completely done today customer pick it up we drove it tested check it everything is fine steel rotors it's good it's i don't know uh, for me it's nothing different between ceramic and steel good it's a good we have also we have a one uh, ff we do the caprista uh just a muffler installation mm, probably it's not interested because we done so many of them but we want to concentrate and make this vlog about engine swap about engine swap how to do what to do let's start <laughs> First one, of course, we start. Uh, we start with the covers. We need to evacuate AC. We need to uh, drain all the fluids from engine, coolant, uh, e-gear, and yeah, transmission. We keep uh, transmission fluid inside. But let's start first from the from the covers and from the bottom plastic shield. <laughs>
everybody. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Clean invasion bay? Yeah, this is like, see, there's so many stone and rocks over there. And always, this one's clean. Yeah, always before insulation. Yeah, it's need to clean the space. Uh, engine mount, like that, like that stuff for avoid any some garbage inside. Scratches, noises. Yeah, um, here is the thing. You already transfer on that new engine. Uh, some stuff like a little bit different hoses. We make sure uh, the engine looks exactly same. Then we remove from this shell uh, headers there, left and right. New gasket, we retorque. Uh, now it's a good time to replace spark plugs. Of course, we did it. And few hoses, and just like I want to clean it and start install engine back. Then for me, it's much easier install the clutch when the engine in and then marriage with transmission uh yeah if we if we do some like uh, small stuff like uh header replacement or something simple uh what is required uh remove engine of course we never disconnect transmission but for me it's and uh i recommend it to you guys if you do engine swap on any uh huracan galardo r8 better way and faster if you reassemble it a transmission on a car then it's like easier for hoist, of course. Okay, uh, let's finish clean and start in install engine back to the shell. <laughs> Well, almost everything assembled back. Transmission, clutch, all wiring, new spark plugs. And I just connect uh, the power and fill the engine oil. Let's fire up, check quickly what's going on. And then uh, I have to start bleed the clutch system 
uh, clutch system and in other things like uh, check the coolant line, uh, AC, refrigerant. But first, I wanna without everything, I wanna make sure engine is working fine. Let's try to fire up. Pump. Okay, this is good sign. Let's try. So loud, <laughs> but let's check underneath. It looks like no any, no any oil leaks. It's good things. Whew. Now, now I need a bleed uh, clutch system, and I need to bleed uh, AC. Uh, sorry, coolant. AC. This is last thing. Let's start. Well, now it's time for bleed the clutch system. Uh, already connect and just like open and close quickly the breather screw. And here is the procedure. Transmission electronic, hydraulic system bleeding, perform the test bleeding ignition on complete and then then they ask you and now I would like to be complete continue and start the bleed you can see Okay. Start. done already complete okay this is what we need for now next uh, I would like to install exhaust uh, I'll like rear end and uh, then I need to do a perform test because uh, after any clutch replacement, engine swap, transmission replacement, doesn't matter, is have to relearn, relearn uh, point initial slip, uh, PIS, and it's really important to explain uh, what, what is clutch thickness and it's like how the hydraulic system 
and all sensors can know what's going on and what need to do. It's really important for clutch life. Okay. Well, now it's time for test drive. Let's check how is the car, how is shifting, how is everything. Yeah, we, we, we reduced barbell to 2,000, uh, 2,200 RPM. Uh, it's barbell between 65 to... Fine, nice and smooth. Yeah, it looks good. 